Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about one of my favourite accessories that I use when I'm shooting on my iPhone. The Moment Anamorphic Lens. I have already made a video about their Blue Flare Anamorphic, along with some of Moment's other lenses that I have, so do check that out if you're interested. But I've also just picked up their Gold Flare version too, and I wanted to make a video showing what you can do with it and how it works. I'll show you some test footage that I've shot, and I'll also do some comparisons between both the Gold and Blue Flare versions if you're trying to decide between the two. So let's get right to it and take a look. I've shown a few of Moment's products on my channel now, from cases to mounts and lenses that I've collected over the years. And I do really like their products. Overall, I've always found them to be well built and just useful to have if you're wanting to take your smartphone video and photography up a level. Opening up the box and sitting on the top, we've got a photo taken by At Trembling Water using an anamorphic lens along with a quick start guide on the reverse side showing how to mount the lens to a moment case. We've also got the gold flare anamorphic lens itself, a little carry pouch, a rubber lens cap, and a guide on how to rotate and align the anamorphic lens with your particular phone. More on that a little bit later in the video. But to adjust it, you will need an Allen key, which Moment does include attached to the carry pouch. Speaking of which, all of Moment's lenses come with a labelled pouch like this for just basic travel needs, and a lens cap which slides on to protect the front glass. The lens design is pretty much identical to the original Blue Flare Anamorphic, so it should feel pretty familiar if you already have that. It has the same boxy shape, the same great build quality with the metal body, the same weight at 38 grams, with just a few minor differences on the printed text on the casing. Although my Blue Flare is one from the original production run a couple of years back, so its design may have been updated with similar text since then. The only real difference is the coating on each lens. You can see here the slight golden tint on the gold flare, versus the blue tint on the blue flare giving you those distinct different coloured lens flares on each which we'll take a closer look at later on. Now, for anyone new to my channel or new to Moments lenses, I just want to quickly go over the different mounting options and how to align the anamorphic with your phone. But if you already know how, then feel free to use the timestamps and skip ahead to see some test footage. The first option is the M series mount, which is compatible with pretty much any phone or tablet if you wanted to use it on one of them. Just slide it on and align the mount point over your camera's lens. It's best to use it over either the standard wide or telephoto cameras, as with the ultra wide, it's just so wide that you will get a lot of vignetting in your footage. Do be aware though that the mount accessory will partially cover some of your screen. A better option is to use a moment case like these that I have here, that you can attach the lens to directly, which is just faster and more convenient to use overall. And I have reviewed both of these cases on my channel already, so I'll leave some links in the description if you'd like to see them. All of Moment's M-series lenses mount with the same bayonet mount. There's a white line on the lens, and an indented one on the top side of the case. Just line these both up with each other, and then turn the lens 90 degrees into place. With the Anamorphic's unique cylindrical lens shape, you do need to make sure that it's correctly orientated with your phone when held in landscape, as you can see here. Depending on your phone model, you might need to adjust the alignment, but a guide is included in the box on how to do this, along with an Allen key tool which we saw earlier. It's really simple to do. Take the tool and loosen the screw on the side of the lens by about two turns. Rotate the bayonet mount 90 degrees to the other position, then retighten the screw and you're good to go. And once set, you won't need to change this again, unless you get a different phone and case with a different camera layout. So let's now take a look at some footage that I've shot using an iPhone 12 Pro Max and the Gold Flare Anamorphic, and then we'll get into more of how it works and how to use it.
The lens gives your footage a really wide and cinematic look to it, so how exactly does it work? While traditional lenses use spherical glass, anamorphics use cylindrical lens elements to squeeze a wider image onto the camera sensor, giving you that cinematic wide look. This is a 1.33x anamorphic lens, which refers to the amount of horizontal squeezing that it does. Traditional video shot on your phone will be in a 16x9 aspect ratio, and straight out of the camera, footage that you've shot using the anamorphic lens will look a little bit weird and squashed. But once de-squeezed, it turns your 16x9 video into 2.40x1 video, which is also sometimes called cinemascope. There are a few ways that you can de-squeeze the footage. You can use the Moment Pro Camera app, or other third-party video apps like Filmic Pro to automatically de-squeeze the footage in the live view to help you frame and compose your shots. And also have the de-squeezing applied to the saved video files themselves, saving you from having to do it manually in post. This aspect ratio will naturally give your footage that very cinematic look, with the black bars at the top and bottom of the frame while also giving you a wider field of view. You'll also notice how the lens blurs slightly at the edges of the frame, and ever so slightly curves and distorts any straight lines in the image too, which I think really adds to that filmic look. It really reminds me of that sort of Christopher Nolan look, and even shooting something as mundane as a phone box on the street, it just, it really adds so much to your footage, I love using it. The lens can be mounted over both your phone's standard wide and telephoto camera if it has one, giving you some extra flexibility when shooting, and allowing you to sort of push in and get closer to your subject. And then of course there's the lens flares that you'll get from any intense light sources that you point this at. This being the gold flare anamorphic gives you, as you probably guessed, golden, more neutral coloured flaring, versus the blue flare lens which gives you much more of a sci-fi look and aesthetic. And as much as I really love the blue flare and will still continue to use it, I picked up the gold as I think that it just adapts a bit better to whatever type of scene that you're shooting, and it just feels more natural overall although the flares can take on some of the other colours in the environment too. Whereas the blue leans more into that sort of sci-fi high-tech look, which might not always be the look that you're after. And if you're shooting in an area with multiple intense light sources, the flaring can get a little bit crazy, which might not always be what you're after. You may have noticed in some of these clips that, along with the horizontal flaring, there are also these little, almost like light orbs in the shots as well. This is actually something that affects the cameras on recent iPhones, regardless of whether you're using a lens attachment or not. Hopefully it's something that Apple can reduce in future models, and it's not really anything to do with the anamorphics, but it's just something that I wanted to point out. And also just to mention, the flaring isn't always present. There does need to be a pretty intense light source within the frame, such as torches or headlights, for the flaring to occur. So in a lot of daylight shooting, you won't always get them. You can absolutely use this lens for photography too, it's not just for video. Moments Pro Camera app has the same de-squeeze feature when in photo mode as it does when in video. And the photos that you get from it really do feel like stills from a film, so if you're more into your photography, I think you'll have a lot of fun with this lens as well. Price-wise, both the gold and blue flare anamorphics are $150 from the Moment store. If you need a case too, both of these MagSafe compatible ones for the iPhone 12 are $50 each but Moment also makes cases for other phone models as well. Or you can pick up the M-series mount for $30. I'll put links for everything shown in the video in the description. Of all the Moment lenses that I own, the anamorphics are definitely some of my favourites to shoot with. They just give a really unique look and feel to your videos and photos, and they're just plain fun to use. Outside of the flaring, footage shot on both versions of the anamorphics looks pretty much identical. It's only when there's a bright light source within, or just outside of the frame, that the different coloured lens flares become apparent. And as I've said, I find that the gold flare is a bit more useful in more situations with its more sort of neutral tones and flares, but the blue flare is great if you want something a little more stylized. Let me know in the comments below which look you prefer. I hope that you've enjoyed this little sort of look into anamorphics on phones. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up and let me know. If you've got any questions, then drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and the bell to get notified. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.